you finished yet? Come on, hurry up! Peter will be here any minute, and if you're not done with your homework, we can kiss Neverland goodbye! Well, maybe if you stop screaming, I could go faster. <sighs> Okay, uh, done. I'll never finish like this. Oh. I know. A little search on ziggydicko.com, a little cut and paste, and ta-da! My report is finished. Hold on. That's not a good idea. You won't learn a thing doing that. Okay, it's easy, but honestly, it's stupid. Chill out. I'm first in my class. I can cut myself a little slack from time to time. It's your choice. But I warned you. <laughs> exactly. It's my choice. And I choose Neverland. Yeah! Hey! What's up, guys? Perfect timing. I wasn't planning on staying here forever. Shall we go? <laughs> you bet! <laughs> <laughs> This makes me think of your brain. It's completely empty! But I heard him like I see you, Captain. The great chief said it to the lost kids and his tribe. This part of the forest is sacred. And that definitely means there's a treasure here. A treasure? I feel that this forest is cursed. Hmm, right. Let's take a look over here. No one ever listens to me. Huh? No need to worry, Captain. He does it all the time. That fake disappearing trick. So... What are we gonna do today? Wendy's gonna tell us a story. Oh, yes. Please, Wendy. You haven't told us a story in a long time. Oh, uh, no! We want to have an adventure. We have stories every night. Yeah, well, we don't. I would love to tell you a story. Yeah! Story. <laughs> story. Yeah. Right. Stories. Well, <laughs> then I'm off to explore Neverland with the great book. Yeah, let's explore! Shmee! Are you scared? Over here, Captain. I'm here. Oh. Nothing sacred here. It was just a landslide. Oh. 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 Shmee! What in the world? Oh. Hmm? Interesting. It shines. It might be a treasure. Oh, get out of my way! 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 Get out of my Fairly for me, of course. What's this? A feather? 
the never Troy secret treasure is a feather? Oh. Oh. Makes sense, I guess. They do use a lot of them in their hats and stuff. Maybe it's a sacred feather. Hmm. Interesting. According to the Great Book, the land here turned blue after a lost kid spilled a bag of blue candies during a magic storm. Blue dirt? You call this an adventure? Hmm. Uh? <laughs> wow. Greetings. I am Michael Little Bear, chief of the Darling Tribe. Hey, the book's right. Even the ants are blue. That book really does have everything in it. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have the rainbow I saw yesterday. Hey! My feather! Where is it going? Huh? Wow! So, a rainbow. Ugh, that's lame. There's only blue. I need some red and... This feather is brilliant! Sign in the sky. Big trouble will come to Neverland. Incredible. It's incredible. Huh? Uh, what's the matter with you? I just wanted to help because, huh? Look what I made! Huh? Is that what I think it is? Because it doesn't look exactly like it. But it almost looks like what it's supposed to look like. What's all this silence about? <laughs> Haven't you ever seen a ra... Eh? Doesn't that rainbow look a bit odd? Isn't there treasure at the end of rainbows, Captain? Treasure. treasure. Stop! Mr. Smee, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Huh. I think there's a link between this feather and the book. Yeah, well, I'm the one who found the feather, so it's mine! <laughs> that means if I. But the rainbow disappeared. It's too late, and it's all your fault, you second rate poodle pup pirates. Oh. Okay, we might as well go home now. Hmm. Where exactly are we, Smee? Well, uh, we weren't really paying attention to where we were going. We're lost. <laughs> oh. The feather made the rainbow appear and made it disappear. Maybe this feather was used to write the book. Maybe the feather created Neverland. <laughs> In fact, something incredible had happened. Giga Man could hardly believe his own eyes. It had become even stronger. The robot destroyer had absorbed the sun's power. How would Giga Man be able to confront him now? <sighs> hmm. Everyone knows giant robots don't exist. Just ask the mermaids. So, then what? What happened next? Well, what are we gonna do with my feather? We aren't going to do anything at all. It's not a toy. And you're too little anyway. Uh, yeah, well, you're a bully! Ugh. What is this feather? Where did it come from? Why did it come to me? Because, yes, I'm the only one who understands the book's capacity. The feather was waiting for me! 
It's my destiny! Yeah! I'm the master of Neverland! Hmm. This way! There! I recognize that leaf. We came this way before. But it kind of looks like that one. Oh, and that one too. <sighs> and that's how Gigaman saved the world once again. John's writing in the great book with my feather, and he won't give it back to me. What? John's writing in the great book? Is that even possible? Huh? Maybe we should go have a look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you can tell him that it's my feather, right? What about us? What do we do? Why don't you play Gigaman? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll come get you if we need help. And now a giant strawberry! <laughs> I can create everything I want! <laughs> um, John, what exactly are you doing? You don't seem quite right. I can see what you're up to. You want to take my feather! My feather! You're jealous, but the feather chose me! <laughs> John! Wait! Don't come any closer! to stay in my possession. I know how to use it. No way! Huh? You're just being mean! <sighs> uh -oh. What? What's the matter with you? Why are you looking at me like that? What did I... Oh, the piano, the rock? Why did I do that? I have a feeling it's that feather's fault. My feather had nothing to do with it! It's John! <gasps> Me with, I'm going to, hey! Peter, no! It's beautiful. <laughs> the book. I must have the book. Crazy, useless monkeys! Show some spirit already! Get moving! Get moving! <laughs> <laughs> can make you not fly. Don't touch it, Michael! Whatever did I... I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. It's not you, Peter. I'm sure of that now. It's the feather. It's calling me, even through this handkerchief. Maybe we should get rid of it. It's unbreakable. Of course! It's magic. Well, I know someone who knows about magic. Let's go see the Great Chief! <laughs> ah, this feather should have been locked away and forgotten long ago. But you have forgotten, have you, Great Chief? No, I have not, Wendy. I, I did not forget. This feather was in the hands of my people long, long ago. Things of great value should be difficult to get. And this feather... Allows you to get whatever you want without the slightest effort. And that goes to your head. You could put it like that. So what can we do about it? We must return the feather to its case. Only its case can contain its power. Okay, let's go. I cannot come with you. Even me. I'm afraid I am too weak. 
faced with such power. But I can tell you where the feather was hidden. <sighs> Nothing. What's this? Aha! An earring! Only Sorrow would wear something this ugly. Well, at least we know where the case is now, with the pirates and the Jolly Roger. I like sparkly, shiny things. Uh, we made it, Captain. Oh, it's about time. I thought I was going to... Silence! Look! That dirty Pan and his friends took advantage of your deplorable sense of direction to invade my ship! I didn't find a thing. And you, Peter? No, nothing. It's not in Hook's cabin, either. We need to find that case, no matter what, before the Feather's power gets too strong for... Uh, Wendy! Give me the Feather, Wendy. I have an idea. No, John, it's too risky. We don't have a choice, Wendy. You... you can't carry it anymore. <laughs> to find the Feather's case, you just have to listen. Because if someone looks for it, the case lets out a shrill sound that... Hey! It's coming from over there! I found it! Everything I write comes true! Thanks for that information, my dear little John. <laughs> There we go. All the family together. If I heard correctly, as soon as I write something in this book, it appears for real. No! Let go of that, you feather brain fool! <laughs> Thank you, children. I can have everything I want. All the treasures of the world. <laughs> treasures. What if you wanted a diamond, Captain? An enormous diamond! <laughs> yes. Why not? <laughs> no, 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 not good enough. <laughs> not good enough! These are worthless ideas! No, what we need is something big, worthy of my standing. I know. I'll remake the island in my image. A castle with a large shark-filled pool. And, and, but first, I'm going to destroy the Never Tree. <laughs> Not while I still draw breath, you won't. Captain! What now? He's going down! Get me out of here! Uh, I'll fix the book, Peter! Huh? Uh, hey! Uh, oh, oh, come on! Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> too slow! Uh, myself have always dreamed of being a poet. So? On this glorious, though emotionally charged day, what is Peter doing? Pan, that mischievous flying imp, and his friends suffer the heavy hand of fate when... Get my poem! Too late! <laughs> the feather! Destroyer showed up. Huh? Oh. Little cloud, 
You think you can scare me with that? You little creep! <laughs> oh, poor Captain. He's completely toasted. <laughs> I'm going to transform Neverland into... Hey! Now we can go. Do you think the pirates will try to come back for it? What can we do? The pirates might find it no matter where we hide it. Or someone else might. We need to destroy it. I think I have an idea. Trust me. And so... When the feather returned to its original case, it disappeared forever. Oh no! You could have at least made one last giant strawberry first. <laughs> <laughs> Will you read me a story, Wendy? <sighs> okay. But a quick one. Um, don't you want to listen to the story? Sure I do. But first, I have to finish my report for tomorrow. I don't want to get a mark that I don't deserve anymore. Once upon a time, there was a crew of useless pirates cruising around an island. You know the worst part about history? Tomorrow's test, which I'm completely unprepared for? It's the only subject where every year there's more of it. Oh, Not true, Mantha. New discoveries are made all the time, so there's more science.